New Brawl Talk released, so it's about time to butcher it completely. Let's see what it's actually like. Okay, so first off, there's these eggs that seem to have an assign rarity, so they're kind of like star drops, but they don't actually upgrade when you hit them. And you can get anywhere from normal star drop progression to skins to brawl mutations, which is the new gimmick for this season. These are insanely broken upgrades to brawlers like infinite bow mines, infinite supers by hitting Kang, infinite ammo for palm, a lot of really broken stuff, but fortunately for us it will only be available in certain game modes and those will be tagged. So if you don't want to play them, for example, there's something that's incredibly broken and everybody's running it and has ruined the game, you can just run it in a different game mode. However, the game mode where they're always available and unfortunately you kind of have to play that one is the new event. The objective of this game is to destroy the enemy city, so you have buildings in blue and buildings in red, you have to clear the red ones, and one of the team can become Godzilla or Mecha Godzilla by picking up these drops, but yeah, it seems like it's not gonna be a very competitive game mode if you ask me. But by playing 6 of these a day, you get eggs and star drops, well I mean if you lose you get rare star drops, so we're not gonna get those right. Anyhow it seems like we can get 8 eggs per day, so that should be enough. And if your whole club is playing, you should have no problem completing this new event. So join a club. If the numbers shown in the Brawl Talk are correct, you only need to get 42 eggs per member in a full club in order to get the reward and during the whole event you can get 240 of those so you shouldn't have any problems completing this but just in case there is a scam offer that you can buy if you want more eggs the event lasts for 30 days but if everybody in your club plays everything you'll complete it in 6 days that's all temporary so let's move into the permanent changes in gameplay Lily is a new mythic brawler that essentially has a main attack like Fang but presumably can pierce through enemies and it can only hold one ammo at a time However, its super is a bit better than Fang's because it has no travel time. You launch a projectile and you will teleport behind the enemy and apparently there's some sort of star power that will make you do more damage if you're hitting from behind because we can see her here do 3600 damage or maybe it only activates shortly after the super. I don't know, it seems like it will be a meteor brawler except against certain matchups and you can probably go through a one tile wall if you super at it. The second new brawler is called Draco and his main attack has one of the highest skill caps in the game because you want to hit it with the very edge of his attack while his super has one of the lowest skill caps ever but we'll look into that later. Another thing to note about his attack is that he has some sort of bar that recharges and when it's charged here we can see that it applies a mark for bell super. This probably is not gonna be the effect that's on the game, but the fact that they're marking it with a bell super probably means that it's gonna be some sort of damage amplification on the target. Now going into the super, he basically becomes a mixture of Amber and Meg, does a ton of damage, has way more projectiles to shoot than Amber, even though the bar is kind of similar, and apparently has some sort of timer, which we cannot see, but here we can see it hop off the old without it taking damage, so I don't know exactly how long the timer is, depending on that it can be really really broken, but just from what we can see, it's pretty clear that this brother would be very very strong on release. Now, skins depend on your taste, so I'm not gonna go over them, but they look like they have really good effects this season. Brock fires a rocket barrage. Sorry, what? No way, pause. How am I supposed to dodge this and not take 5 million damage? My boy Sun is getting a hypercharge and the silence is good but the speed boost is broken. Nita just gives more health and speed to the bear which is fair. Max acts like Barley's gadget where it also gives speed boost to the allies but his speed boost stacks on top of the super and hypercharge and everything so good luck catching him. Tix is kinda like Nita, so he just gives it more speed but instead of health when the head explodes it leaves mines behind. Jeans is just free hands but they apparently pull faster that doesn't seem normal speed this is bad we want the hand to be pulling you for as long as possible so I don't know if I even like this one. That's it for the hypercharges and the only other change is knockout 5v5 which you get more powerful the more teammates they die so you get a lot of 1v5 clips in YouTube I guess and the new ranked modifier which is stupid. 
Brawl Stars is a game of positioning and tactics as much as it is of mechanics. So being able to just respawn wherever you die is gonna absolutely destroy all the game modes. It's so stupid. That's it, have a free pin, goodbye.